to y'all, how many of you got it? How many of your gym rats can say your muscle dysmorphic? How many of your gym rats can say you're repping out on squats? I'm repping until my friction stops. If you do, then you notice what I'm talking about. Till you spend a mass amount to the gym account. Until you end up just getting so dependent on gym, you end up spending the G on the juicing machine. You got the acne. Look at you, synthol you to injecting like a junkie posting pics on your youtube until you get so paranoid from cycling your rage and thinking that the whole world is watching you well, maybe you don't juice maybe you're natural but whatever your path bro go for the long bro uh, don't bother me when i'm doing my rap you see me in the gym don't come messing my rap up and blow Fashionites. I didn't want to come out this morning, but superheroes do a lot of stuff they don't want to do, right? So I'm here, and I'm ready to bash it out. I'm ready to build a superhero. Yeah. Now, uh, not so sure what I wanted to work out today. I got some funny irritation in my left shoulder. For the past two days, well, I think it's gone now. So, I think we're good to go. So, Fashionites are ready to go hard, are ready to change the world, are we ready to change ourselves, are we ready to become more powerful, are we ready to become a superhero? This is back. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, TMDMA, the most dangerous man alive. And here comes my double. I don't know if you've noticed the headphones. Pretty cool. I gotta be honest, I was uh, hating at first. They're pretty good. Getting snug. Heck, I can't hear myself speak when I got them on. Yeah, look at this guy. He's doing a couple of warm ups. Twist as usual, you know, trying to get his, uh, his spine into it, trying to get his core and his abs into it, you know, and at the same time squeezing that, uh, that rod over his shoulders, 
You know, I'm trying to get his uh, shoulders mobile, trying to wake him up, do some really light presses with it as well. You know, I was, uh, you know, I was on uh, Lou Ferrigno's page the other day. You know, the Hulk, the original Hulk. Shout out to the old man. And he posted some stuff on, uh, you know, how shoulders are the easiest uh, muscle to get injured, you know? Deltoids, you know, because most movements depend on the, on the deltoid. So, uh, you know, trying to wake him up, listening to the pros. It don't hurt nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, now that we're ready, Switch it up. Now let's get heavy. Yep, bring me on there over here. Look at that tricep right there. So this is me usually when I got a little irritation in my, uh, in my upper body, you know, whether a upper back or my shoulders. I come and I start doing bent over rows. It's kind of like my therapy. I don't know, but it kind of really helps out. It really helps out because it kind of, uh, just warms up all the muscles, you know, on each side, really. So, it's just my thing. You know, uh, I think my double just is just about to come through. And, uh, say a little something, but look at that arm development, man. I mean, look at that forearm striations. Those are striations, isn't it? That's what happens, man. If you lift, that's what happens. I'm just saying, consistency. That's what happens. I'm getting pumped just watching me work out. So it's bent over rows. I'm trying to stretch out my lats, hit my arm low as possible. I'm trying to squeeze when I get to the top. I'm always trying to do the workout double time. You know? Just try to get my heart rate up. It's just good. Uh, we're in the month of June, so it's pretty chilly out here. So, uh, the odds of me sweating in the cold are pretty low. But, uh, it feels good. He can't hear Jack with his head. I need to figure out how to work out with this, this cable. Nice. Not bad form. Yeah. But not good until you try it.
so many things. Steve, in the morning was so amazing. I remember going up, waking up, time for school, getting ready. Hated the process. I know a lot of you kids do. A lot of you grown folks hated it too. You know, but one thing I realized is uh, that routine was so important. Something amazing about a morning. And seeing the day start. And just that routine you do. Waking up, getting dressed, going to school. Doing your thing. It's just so essential in life. You know? You know, we did it because our parents made us do it. So we had the choice to win it. You know, being a successful grown up here. Getting yourself into such a such strict uh, routine by yourself. The best part is when you when you do it, you better yourself in something when you actually believe it. So Whenever I don't want to wake up, come out here and uh, do a workout, I just tell myself, man, you've done this before. You know? You've left the house at 6 every morning before. And you're older now. Just get it. Yeah, so this work, me working out with headphones, that's uh, it's, it's pretty new. Um, I never used to work out with headphones. You know, because, uh, like I said, I don't like the idea of uh, me depending on anything for me to get in the zone. You know what I mean? What happens if I don't have my headphones, if I don't have my music? What does that mean? That I won't work out? I don't like that. You know? So, um... I successfully did some pretty good workouts. Um... Without headphones? And I think it's pretty instilled in my DNA that uh, I can do it without them. So, this just makes it more fun right now. So I encourage the same even with you guys, you know, it's, uh, you know, human beings are really funny, man. We're really good at making excuses to not do the right thing. You're really good at it. And uh, you know, a large part of why I do uh, my workouts at home in my backyard is uh, so that I can cut away as many excuses me working out not working out as possible you know because one i mean i see i mean lots of guys have got gym membership and they never make their way to the gym and they'll have tons of excuses like oh no you know traffic valid excuses <laughs> seemingly so you know but then I mean, sometimes we act as if, you know, hey, because I've got the gym membership, now the universe has to give me gains because at least I'm better than that guy who doesn't even have a gym membership. No, it's not how it works. Okay? Use what you have. 
And if you get in the habit, like myself, if you get in the habit of using the little that you have, even if you just got a dumbbell at home, and if you get in the swing of actually using it, you know, and doing your thing, or even if you don't have any weights and you do calisthenics and you just do your, uh, your push-ups or your press-ups or you do your dips, you know, the important thing is sticking to the workout routine and doing it. Because what that does is when you actually have money for gym membership or you actually have money for gym equipment, you're going to use it. You know why? Because you're going to be like, you know what, when I had far less, I still made significant gains. And that right there there is your testimony to yourself and that's what all this stuff is about you need to be able to come back at a place where you can call yourself out basing on things that you've been able to do before you know what I mean and that's what difficulty going through difficulty is about I mean it's I mean that that's 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 what's worked in my life. That's what I've seen, you know. Even just in my professional workplace, when it comes to, uh, to what I do, I mean, I've done some amazing pieces of work on uh, the most mediocre machinery. But then every time I, 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 I want to I wanna become... Uh, you know, complacent or start making excuses, I look back and I'm like, hey man, wait a minute. You did so much more before you had even half what you have now. That's a real lens flare, by the way. It's not, I didn't superimpose that lens flare. It's, it's the sun actually coming up. I love getting stuff like that on camera. Look at that. Now I'm making them circles. This is for the shoulders. This is uh, following the advice of uh, Lou Ferrigno on his Facebook page. You know, I think many, many of us did these circles at, you know, in, uh, physical education back at school. Probably just used to burn and we hated it, but Really good for the shoulders, man. Gotta listen to the pros. As you can see, my bench press is uh, is low. That's where I left it from the day before. I'm becoming a superhero. Superheroes can do anything. You know, that, that guy who just sits there quietly is a bit disturbing, you know? I mean, he doesn't do anything and he just kind of shows up. Excuse me.
No way. He's next in line. Waiting his turn, I guess. You know, yeah, so I'm doing those uh, tricep, uh, the tricep exercise, close grip. It's really good for, for your middle chest as well. I really feel the stimulation in the middle chest when I, when I do the close grip. But I really need to switch it up. I need to get some serious upper chest action as well. things I'm, I'm gonna do for you Besh tonight is uh, I'm gonna be taking on uh, challenges yeah basically I'm gonna be looking at you know established bodybuilders or fitness personalities and I'm gonna do their routine for I don't know what's a good period maybe two weeks or maybe a week we'll start off with it. see how the body feels maybe two weeks would be better I don't know okay yeah, but basically we're gonna go through some of their routines that we're gonna see, you know, what we come up with, see what the results are like. You guys can do it along with me. I mean, that's why I make these videos as much as I'm talking a whole lot in the videos. I would like you to kind of uh, also do some of the routines and see what gains you make. You know? <sighs> See what transformation we can uh gonna come up with by the end of the year. I think that's pretty cool, don't you think? So, hey, it also encourages me as well to uh, stick to my regimen and be, you know, serious about my workout. You know, knowing that, you know, you guys following the same thing. So, it's just the thought. You know, but that's why I do them the way that I do. Okay?
morning bash nights the workout is done i'll see you guys again tomorrow let's go out there let's save the world peace All right, Bashanites, it's your boy, TMDMA, the most dangerous man alive. Thank you for checking out this video. Look out for the next one. It is Bash. Time for us to become a superhero.